This is WPDE News Channel 15 Sports with Sports Director Rich Grantanis. Dallas Cowboys center Andre Garod won't seek criminal charges against Hartsville's Albert Hainsworth. The Tennessee Titans defensive tackle suspended for five games by the NFL for stomping on Garode's head on Sunday. It's the longest suspension by the NFL ever for on-field behavior. Hainsworth addressed the media today and once again apologized for his actions. Also to the fans, I mean, for the kids that watched the game and, and the parents that were appalled by the, the incident, I, you know, I just want to say I'm sorry. I walked in the locker room, it was, it was empty. There was nothing in there. I'm sitting here looking, you know, thinking, what in the world have you done? You know, I mean, just, I, I couldn't believe I did something like that. We've talked quite a bit about some Division I prospects in our area from schools like Conway, Lake City, and Chira, but WPDE's Manny Mitchell tells us there's another top college prospect playing under the radar in the skeezer ranks. Clemson starting tight end Thomas Hunter is living a dream after making the improbable jump from PD Academy and skis of football to playing in the ACC. Now another skis a standout is hoping to follow his lead. You know, I really, you know, look up to him and admire what he's done, especially since, I mean, he walked on and ended up now he's a starting tight end at Clemson. Philip Price plays tight end for the tiny Dillon Christian School, tucked away on a back road of Dillon, out of reach for many college scouts. You might have a scout drive all through Dillon, look at all the schools, and there'd be some good ball player out here, and he'd never know he was there just because he didn't know about the school. So Philip had to make sure the colleges knew about him. He went to Clemson's camp and is now on his way, turning a scholarship offer from the Tigers. Vanderbilt and South Carolina are also keeping an eye on him. He, he's a headhunter. He likes to. He loves football, and you can tell he plays it like he loves it. Now, Philip may go to a small school, but he is anything but small. In fact, he's rather tall. I'm six five and a half with my shoes off. Since you don't play football with your shoes off, I'm six six. When you come up to the, the stadium here and you, you look at him on the field, you see, you know who 35 is. That's he's the D1 kid. You know, you can tell who he is. And that's exactly the way Philip Price likes it. He plans to be a D1 kid, playing on Saturdays next fall. From Dillon, Mandy Mitchell, WPDE, News Channel 15 Sports. All right, Mandy, thanks so much. Great story and a great young man. Hey, Dillon is going to be getting some Chevy Enzone t-shirts. That's because they won the big internet poll. Marion and Dillon, part of 17 games of action on the way tomorrow night. Let's go to the majors. Baseball playoffs continue. Tigers and Yankees were rained out last night. They played this afternoon. Johnny Damon does a little upper deck work. Three run homer. And it's 3-1 Yanks, but the Tigers got gritty. Curtis Granderson takes Mike Mussina to the gap. This is the triple that brings home the go-ahead run, and the Tigers hold on for a 4-3 win. This series tied at one game apiece. The series shifts to the Motor City. Got more baseball going on right now, and uh, it's, it's that time of year. Postseason, completely different animal. Put all those records aside. That's right. All the money in the bank might not help you in the postseason. True. We've got a lot of events coming up. Yes, indeed. Talk about. They should have no problem getting in this weekend, but cooler, first of all, the Kids Time Club has their October meeting at Broadway Commons or Broadway at the Beach at 10 a.m. to paint a huge mural that will be displayed at next week's Arts and Fall Festival. I'll be out there painting, finger painting, by the way, because that's the only thing I know how to do. <laughs> of course, on Saturday is also the Little River Shrimp and Jazz Festival on the waterfront. Plenty of food, entertainment there, and uh, I'll finger paint, then go up there and judge the food. Well, how do, what do you know? That wash shrimp is going to yes, be great. Exactly. Yes, wash my hands for sure. <laughs> And uh, finally, the Horry County Children's Shelter Charity Golf Tournament is this uh, Sunday at 1130 at Crown Park Golf Club on Highway 9 West. If you're interested in that, give the golf club a call. A lot of great events, and outside of a shower, too, it should be okay. 80s today, 60s on Saturday. Yeah, you know, nice fall-like weather for all these events. It is. It's fall festival time, and that's what you like. <laughs> that's going to do it for us. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 6. Back at 10 o'clock on the CW and 11 o'clock on Nightside. Until then, take care.